for a television show to remain popular for a year or two is impressive enough these days, but 50 years is remarkable. And 2015 marks the 50th anniversary of the TV show I Dream of Jeannie. And even as I speak, I bet it's on TV right now somewhere. Well, the celebration just got a little bit better because Miss Barbara Eden is bringing her show on the magic carpet with Barbara Eden to the NYCB Theater at Westbury in Westbury, New York, on Thursday, August 27th at 8 p.m. It'll be everything you ever wanted to know about Barbara Eden straight from the genie's bottle, I guess. (laughs) Barbara Eden joins us right now, and uh, I don't mind telling you, I'm swooning. Miss Eden, welcome to the show. Happy to be here. And you happen to be on our third annual Beach Boys Bash. Oh, wonderful. And I was racking my brain trying to figure out a way to bring the worlds of Barbara Eden and the Beach Boys together. And I think I figured out how to do it. You starred in a 1964 film called Ride the Wild Surf. Jan and Dean sang the theme song, and the song was written by Brian Wilson, Jan Barry, and Roger Christian. So there is a Beach Boys connection there. Right. Can you tell us anything about making that film? I mean, I love those those beach movies. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it, it, was, it was fun. It was my first, first time ever being in Hawaii. Mm-hmm. Um, of course, we had a large cast of young people. Um, but what was fascinating to me, uh, maybe the audience would find this so, was that everyone in that film had to change their hair color. Huh. Don't ask me why. I do not know. Fabian had very dark Italian hair and chest hair. He had to bleach it out blonde. <laughs> Which, of course, when he got on the surfboard and became sunburned, Right. That wasn't too great on his chest. The <laughs> poor guy it was so sweet. I was blonde. They made me a redhead. Uh, um, Jelly Fabre was a redhead, and they bleached her hair out blonde. <laughs> you, know, we, you wonder what in the world was going on, but uh, but we had so much fun, and may, mainly too because we had terrible weather, and they closed us down for about a week or two. And uh, so we were able to come from the North Shore, which then, at that time, was country, <laughs> uh, into Honolulu and, uh, and have a good time. It was wonderful. I loved it. I always heard that when they were shooting these beach movies and these surfing pictures, that they would shoot very early in the morning, and you would be frolicking on the beach in your bikini, but in reality, you'd be freezing to death. It was so cold. Not in Hawaii. Oh, okay. <laughs> Not in Hawaii. <laughs> Only in that LA. happened on the pilot for Genie. <laughs> <laughs> well, let's talk about I Dream of Genie. How did this stage show on the magic carpet with Barbara Eden come about? Well, I have um, done many um, appearances, you know, around the world, actually, just to say hello to people. And the thing that was a lot of fun for me was the Q and A. At the end, and I realized what a wonderful give and take this was. Just and then, so a friend of mine saw it and said, uh, "We should put together all your film clips and your TV clips, and you can talk about these wonderful people you've worked with. Um, you know, like Elvis Presley and uh, you name it, <laughs> <laughs> and, and Dean Martin, and." Uh, so that's what he did. He did a beautiful editing job, and um, Bill Harris and I sit on the stage. Bill questions me, and I tell him. And while I tell him the story, you will see the film clip of the person that we're talking about or the the number I did with them or the scene from a movie. Mm-hmm. So we have lots and lots of that. It's kind of fun. And then after after that, then we open it up to a Q&A with the audience. Well, you're really on the hot seat for this uh, <laughs> presentation. I am, but I like it. <laughs> it's fun. It really is fun. Can I ask you about Elvis for just a moment? You certainly may. I've interviewed a number of actresses who've worked with Elvis, and right across the board, they all say the same thing. He was focused, he was serious about his craft, and a pleasure to work with. So true. So true. He was a gentleman. Mm-hmm. He was very devoted to his work. He loved his music. Um, but he, 
the, the movie I did with him, he, he got terrific reviews, really good reviews, because he was a very good actor. And this was a movie that required that. Unfortunately, it didn't make any money because he played a half-breed. He didn't get the girl. He died. Oh, yeah. He didn't sing a song. <laughs> <laughs> so it wasn't the kind of film at that time in his life that people wanted to see him in. But he was so good in it. And he cared. He cared a lot about his work and his audience. And mm. he was a lovely, lovely human being. Elvis Presley as Pacer, who became a legend in the West. Hello, do si do stay single and save a dollar. Torn between two loyalties, two loves, and fighting to save them both. Barbara Eden, the beauty who fired the conflict in Pacer's soul. You were the worst. You made me feel it the worst. That was the trailer for Flaming Star with Elvis Presley and our guest today, Barbara Eden. Now, this might be the most embarrassing question I've ever asked to an adult human being, but here goes. Uh, do you mind if we talk about your belly button or lack thereof on the TV show I Dream of Jeannie because your outfit was considered somewhat risque and, you know, uh, it was somewhat controversial. They wanted to keep things wholesome. Well, you see, you don't have to be embarrassed because... She wasn't a human being. Well, exactly. That was, was my thought. Yeah, she was an entity. <laughs> <laughs> and entities, you know, they can have belly buttons or they can't if they choose to do so. It's, <laughs> it's up to them. And the show also skirted around the idea of an unmarried man and woman living together in the same house. Well, she had her bottle. Right, exactly. You know, she didn't live with him. She lived in her bottle. <laughs> but, it, but it was wholesome. It, it, it truly was. It truly was. Jeannie, why did you turn that boy's mother into a goose? Because she was a goose master. I could not stand to see the way she treated him. There's a very special way to treat children. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure there is, but turning a mother into I a goose is not one. I know everything about children. Someday I'm going to write a book about it. <laughs> yeah, you do that. It would be the best book in the whole world. D do you really think you could write a book about bringing up kids? Of course, master. How long do you think it'd take? Oh, I do not know. Maybe three or four weeks. Three or four weeks, huh? Uh, you wouldn't be able to do anything else. What I mean is you'd have to concentrate on it. Oh, I would not mind, Master. Huh? Do you really think I should do it? Oh, yeah. I, I do. I, I really do. Very well, Master. I shall. <laughs> I'm afraid you will not be seeing much of me for a while, Master. We all have to make sacrifices, Jeannie. Now, take your time. And don't rush it. Oh, do not worry, Master. It will be a good book. You will like it. <laughs> I already like it. <laughs> I had read that while you and Larry Hagman were doing the show, I Dream of Jeannie, you considered yourselves friends and co-workers, but it was only after the show ended that the two of you developed a richer and deeper friendship. Um, we were very close doing Jeannie, but not personally. Mm -hmm. You know, I had my husband, my new baby. Uh, Larry, of course, had his two little ones, and my, his wife. And we all, we, I would go out to Larry's house all the time with my son, because he had a house at the beach. Mm -hmm. And, uh, of course, my son was a baby, and his children were older, but still, it was, it was lovely. We were, we were good friends, but we had our own little spheres of right. living. Uh, later, when we would travel with love letters, it was just the two of us. And uh, that did become very, very close. And loving. It was loving and when we were doing Jeannie, too. Uh, Larry was under a lot of stress in those years, so hmm. it was a little bit different. Boy, you'd never know it watching the show. He knocks everything out of the park, whether it's drama or comedy. He's a very good actor in <laughs> everything. I, everything. Uh, I, don't, I think he's absolutely my favorite actor to work with. Can I ask you about one of the actors on the pro? Because Larry Hagman and Bill Daly... 
They get a lot of attention. Can I tell you that I'm a big fan of Hayden Rourke? Oh, he was a dear friend of mine. And of course, of course you can. He's, uh, he did so many more things before he ever did Cheney. Yeah. <laughs> you know, he was... Um, I'm always amazed sometimes I'm looking at uh, Turner Classic Movies at night and whoops, there's there he Hayden. is. <laughs> and in a very important film, in a very important part, he was, uh, I, what would you say, the actor's actor, I guess. He is such a great comic actor <laughs> yes. that I Dream of Genie is almost like two shows in one. There's the other show with, with you, of course, and, and Tony and Roger, but then there's a show that I call The Continuing Humiliation of Dr. Bellows. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes, so true. <laughs> He's wearing a sweater and a skirt and has three million dollars in his Christmas fund. That's right, General. Doctor, have you been analyzed recently? <laughs> this time, Major Nelson won't get away with it. His money is in the Coco Beach City Bank, and he's in his office. Doctor Bellows, if this is another one of your wild hallucinations, you're going through psychoanalysis again. <laughs> Gladly. <laughs> That's good. Hmm. On the Magic Carpet. I love that title. On the Magic Carpet with Barbara Eden will be at the NYCB Theater at Westbury in Westbury, New York, Thursday, August 27th at 8 p.m. Miss Eden, thank you so much. It's been a great honor to speak with you, and uh, please have a great rest of your day. Oh, thank you. Bye-bye.